Radio uh, out here in the field and today a special treat for you guys is not drone related but trust me you're going to want to see this we're with long range Tony and he has 3D printed his own Mustang we're going to rip it have some fun find out how it went together and just uh, learn some Give more about go. this thing you made at home with like four dollars worth of plastic uh, uh, this is yeah yeah this is uh let's do it enough of your rambling let's cut into the video Radio Tony, so uh, lay it on me. What is this and how did you get started? So, Tell me that, let's give a bit of a breakdown too. So I want to find out all about the yeah. project and then I want you to give me the internals and how it went together right. and the actual specifics. So, so the long story of this, I've been flying RC planes since I was a little kid. Yeah, and, about uh, 600 years ago, uh, right? A long, long time ago. Yeah. And uh, recently I saw a flight test video and they had, um, they had a plane that was 3D printed and from a company called 3D Lab Print in, in the States, where you can download the plans um, for a relatively modest fee. And How much was this one? So 20 US dollars. Okay. okay? Yep, yep. I think they had it on sale, it was 15 uh, at the time. Yep. And so I, I downloaded the plans and thought, I'm gonna give it a go, I've got a 3D printer, and uh, set about calibrating my printer to get the print sections right, because the print bed's only 200 by 200 by 200. Okay. Um, and the plane is printed in parts that are like 185 So it's coming to the ass. Okay, so, yeah. so the idea is you, you print them in parts and you um, super glue them together. Okay. So very, very simple. So uh, one of the joints So there's one, here. one of the joints. Yep. Um, really well designed by 3D Lab Print. And okay. they have these little fingers that go underneath the adjacent section, so it locks it all in. So once you've got the printer dialed in and you don't see any warping and you get the temperature right and that I must say that did take a bit of time just okay. to get it really dialed in yep. but this is the second one that I've printed there's another one which sure. we can show you later uh, yep. um, it printed out no warping and about 40 hours of printing maybe okay so a patient project you've got to have some patience but to be honest each print run is about 10 hours so you start one off and you print all the parts and you just walk away and just the printer whirs away and you, you, you come get, back the next you day you come back and there's about half a off. dozen parts on the printer and okay and then um you pull them off and you start the next one so it's a very uh it's a long process a but, but there's not a lot of uh time that you need to invest sure, in it sure um, so it's like management material you delegate all the tasks to and the, the printer, printer does yeah. It. yeah you'd and, be great at it and no so, wonder you smashed it and so they all pop off you do a little bit of clean up with a scalpel just to pull any sort of frayed edges off yep and then literally it's a five minute job to super glue it all together super glue and accelerator okay and all the parts they all go together um and once it's in it's easy it's three servos okay it's one for the tail and one each for the ailerons, and it's a bank and yank. All right. So, um, so if it was FPV, I could even fly this. Not easy. that I'm going to fly this, but what do you think it'd be like durability-wise, crashing? Oh, look, I don't know. I, I haven't seen great results for heavy landings. Okay. So the intent is to try and be really gentle. We've come to a field today where it's not ideal. It's not a nice smooth ground. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel that it could have some fairly abrupt landings here. And you've got a pretty big prop on the front. It is is a, that the recommended size? So. They actually recommend you run this 6S with a, a smaller prop. 6S, okay, um, yep. And it can do some pretty high speeds. We're talking 150 plus Ks an hour. Jesus, um, all right. I did this as what they call an eco setup. This is running a 3S with a bit of a torquey motor. So I'm running a 10.5, 10.6 prop. Yep. Um, this so one's that means like big and efficient, right? Big and efficient. And plenty, not high RPM. Plenty torque, low RPM. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and so I'm expecting it to um, fly pretty well, but not as fast as the others, yep. but 10 minute flight time, something like that. Cool, Let's so, can you so, show me the inside? So one of the things I like door. about this, yep. great design feature, um, 3D print this little catch and you slide the little blue catch back and it's just all um, just friction and then the wing pops off. That's it, and, and then, then you throw that in the car. And then Look how nice that is in there. Like yeah. for a 3D print, I must say, it's pretty some of, spectacular. Some of the best prints that have come off my printer. Uh, I've just got a TiVo Tarantula, okay. a home built. Um, I'll put a link somewhere for those yeah. as well. All right, and, cool. and so yeah, we'll stick a battery in and away we go. Yep, and then at the end, so we're gonna see how it flies, and then at the end I'm gonna get some tips if someone wants to do it at home. What, yep. what did you learn during the process too? Yep. So there's a little clip that you print out as well. Holds the battery in, that's a 3D printed part. Okay, is that TPU? No, no, that's just uh, PLA. Okay. And then here we go, pull the battery out. The battery just snugs in. To its own little case there and because it's um plastic you can just have your antennas loose in there it's not going to get affected got, by anything like carbon just, like on our drones or anything correct 
So I'm just going to check that this battery's got some juice in it. Yep. Uh, let's give that a go. Perfect. Perfect. This is a 4S. This is a 3S. 3S. So this is the um, underpowered out of the two. But when I say underpowered, it's got heaps of power. And how much was this? Uh, $15 for the plan so, and $4 for plastic. So I've printed two, so I factor it down to $7.50 okay. for for the plane. And a roll of filament uh, is about 30, 35 bucks. Yeah. And that's a kilo. Yeah. There's about 300 grams of filament, so it's about 10 bucks worth of filament. Okay, 10 bucks a plane and $7 yep. a plane. I will, I will say though that calibrating did take up a bit of print. I did a few if print If you did another one, it's gonna get cheaper though, right? If you, now if you that, made one tomorrow, you can make one for 15 bucks. Now that I can uh, confidently dial in the right settings in the printer, yep. it's a cheap exercise. Yep. So yeah, they're uh, very, very cost effective. So we'll just plug this one in. And I guess the beauty is once you own the plan, you can just, you can just make your own. You, it, but also, if you broke this, you might only have to reprint the wing tip, right? Or something. Well, or the wing because part. Because they're it's... quiet, because they're, they're not like styrofoam, yep. I think if you broke it, you'd have trouble trying to join it again. Okay. It might just be easier just to print a whole new wing. Yep. But you wouldn't need to repl repeat, print the whole entire thing, and maybe that segment or this segment. Correct. I love it. I love the transparent part too. Why Welcome did you pick trans? Why did you pick the? Because I, I picked this transparent. It really shows up. It's three D printed. I did that for no other reason than I wanted Quick to see morning. the spars inside. Okay. That's it. That's it. It's ready to go. All right. I'm just gonna put some sunglasses on. Yeah, man. Hang on. I'm gonna do the same. For anybody playing along at home too, a little bit of a bonus, I stole Jono's sunnies. So uh, thanks very much, uh, wingman Jono, for your sunnies because I'm going taking them, going flying with Tony. Now, Tony, I wish I had chase cam, but I don't. All right, so this is the second flight. This has had one flight just to double check that everything was working. Okay. So, so this is kind of a maiden. All right, so um, you did fly it for a tiny bit this morning before I did. I did, the test I did. so. What did I say to you? Don't fly before I get here because in case it crashes, I want to be here. So the uh, the recommended is you launch it at 10 degrees, bit of up elevator, and it should just power out of your hand. So we're hoping that that's going to be the case. And we have a slight 10, five mile per hour southerly. Yep, so we're going to go. <laughs> Sounds good? Yep. Let's give it a go. Let's go. Okay. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. Will it break? Yes, no. Oh man, that's golden. Now you're gonna have to do some close passes because we're not gonna be able to see that and there's no, no, no camera I'm on here. I'm coming back. It does look beautiful in the sky. Pity we don't have the uh, resolution to be able to show this off, but it kind of glistens. It's like, almost looks like glass with that clear plastic into the sun. I'm gonna have to get on the other side. All right, I'm gonna come back and we'll both go that side. All right. Here we go, running and flying and filming. All right, here we go. Man. That looks quiet. gorgeous. It's quiet. Do you need throttle to make it fly? Does it, how does it coast? No, it's about half throttle and it's just cruising. I'll do another low pass. How long do you reckon it would fly for? 10 minutes it's supposed to fly. On, oh, this is a 2200 3S. Can you believe you printed that? No, I can't. Like that that craft there, you just made that at home. Just and printed it, it at home for 20 bucks. It's amazing. It really does show you that design, whatever that air shape is of that craft it, is, it is phenomenal, isn't beautiful. it? They really and nailed it. And you know what? It is so incredibly stable. It looks like I could even fly that. Not that I want to. No, do you know what, Stuart? You could fly this. <laughs> if you had the time to put into printing it, absolutely. And I almost want to put like some little guns underneath the wings or something. I don't All know right. how, how. So let's let's do a flyby and we'll okay. come back and we'll do a nice barrel roll when I come back the other way. Okay. okay. And it looks so good. All right, here we go. Yep. Come around. Oops. Come around. Woo! How nice does that look? 
Why don't you build one FPV? Come on, bro. Oh, I can. I'm sure we could design this to put a uh, a little pod in it. How nice is this? It's gorgeous, and it's really quiet. Like the AR wing is so much louder. That must be the big prop on there, right? It's the a low prop, RPM and prop. it's got a low RPM. It's got a torquey motor. This is running an Emax motor. Um, this is a 2812-09 Emax motor running 3S, and uh, I'm absolutely stoked with how well this thing flies. It's just incredible. You want to bring it in for a landing, and then uh, this is where it might break. Are you a bit nervous about the landing? I am actually because it's um. It's got a it's, big prop too. It's, it might get it's got a big prop and it's got an air scoop on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in just upwind. Let's come in from over here and I'll just land it a little way away from us. So be back over here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Coming in for a landing. The wind feels like it's coming that way. Yeah, that's right. All right. Here we come. So it's got almost like a bad, a bad catch underneath, which is not ideal. All right, here we go. All right. It's smooth. It's I'll smooth. go around. I'll go around. What are you doing? What happened? So then? you can watch. So you can film it. Oh, okay. All right. All, all right. I'll get it a bit closer to us. You don't want it landing all the way over there. I don't think I was even watching all the right. camera at it. All right. You ready? Here we go. Yep. I'm gonna come around same way again, and I'll do it in front of you. Man, that's so nice up there. Doesn't it? It looks freaking amazing. Here we go. Here we go. Just take it easy. Coast it in. Oh, see that was a smooth landing, but it got caught on the grass. It did get caught on the grass, but oh, what's, what broke? I think it was the little blue no, catch. No, the back at the back there, it's broken off. That's all right, that's fixable. That is fixable, I hope. Show the scoop on the bottom so people know what we're talking about. So, so it, this part yeah. got caught in the grass. Yeah, and it's just broken off the back there. That's okay, I can, cobble something together to fix that um, it definitely is going to need to have a smoother landing than this lesson to self don't fly in ground again all right so the grass is not ideal for that landing no not at all so that's annoying so it's just snapped out the back there um, easy fix what I'll do is I'll 3d print a new part up to here mm -hmm. And then, just and then stop the print and I'll cut that part out and glue it back in. That's what I'll do. Yep. Yeah, that'll so work. So one trick. disadvantage, these aren't as easy to repair as our foam planes would tape. Correct. That's okay. Although, we, you, to be honest, you could tape that down with enough gaffer tape and I'm sure it'd be flying fine. Yeah, but that's how Do we need to find this little piece? Um, it, or is it... It won't be far, will it? It'd be hard, it's clear. That's thick, but no. what's happened? So what happened is when it landed, obviously it's put a bit of pressure on the the support here mm -hmm. where um, where the catch goes into the body so the catch goes into the body and it goes into a little hole just at yep. the back and it's just snapped on the side of the hole so I will get a new piece printed out for here and I'll dremel it out and I'll print a new I'll and just glue it in put the whole new piece back in there and uh, we should be home and hose sure. the wings all right yeah, everything's okay. It's just that little bit. I should never have flown it on this rough ground. Okay. That's, right. that's my bad. So and Stuart making me come out. Before we go, I want to know uh, what uh, some lesson, some things you learned during the build process. So if someone wants to build one of these at home, give us some tips. Um, you need a bit of patience. You need to spend some time really getting your printer calibrated well. Um, if you get your printer calibrated well, so you don't, you get good bed adhesion. Okay, um, so you want it to stick to the bed. But let's, let's pretend we're a complete newbie. So, here. Yep. so it, when you print these, they're obviously printed this way in sections. Yep. The trailing edge is quite thin, and so you get some thermal shrinkage as the filament cools, and it lifts off the bed. So you need to um, print in such a way that you get good bed adhesion and on so the how back. Did you make so you can do, do well two ways. You can put a, you can put like a, a skirt around the bottom to hold it down. Okay. Well, the way I do it is I put blue builder's tape down and print onto that and it sticks like the proverbial. Okay. So I actually printed on blue builder's tape and I had complete adhesion. It was great. Sure. Um, but print it hot. Um, PLA is typically 190 to 220. I printed this at 230. 
Um, what you can see, that's the difference between uh, 210 and 230, that colour band. Yes, that looks much nicer. Here that one started at 210, this is 230. Okay, yeah. Um, so you get much better layer adhesion. Um, yeah, it was... Um, and what about gluing it together? Any tips when you were trying to do that? Did you learn anything yeah. between the two? One's, so, this is your second build. So, so, you so use first one medium one? viscosity um, CA glue. Okay. And an absolute must is use accelerant. So when you put them together, the glue doesn't dry straight away. So you put it on, and when you're happy with the position, hit it with some accelerator, and the accelerator sets it instantly. And it also produces some heat. And I, I suspect that, that some of the together. heat actually helps bond it together. All right. um, but look, it was brilliant. The, um, the CA glue with accelerant really made this a breeze to, to go together. So okay. very happy with how it, how it all went together. And uh, I want to get that fixed and get it flying again. Sure. Yeah. All right. Nice. Well, easy. thanks for taking us on this. Even though it wasn't an FPV adventure, and I'm, I am sorry that it broke. Oh, so am I. Um, I still think uh, it's pretty interesting. So thanks very much, Tony. Thanks, and man. we'll let you know. Anyway, I'll put some links down below too. To what was it called? Uh, 3D Lab Print. 3D Lab Print. So, and it was about 15 bucks. You bought yours for, and about seven, ten dollars worth of filament. Correct. Cool. All right. Easy. Nice. All right. Thanks, thanks mate. Inactivity alarm. Here we go. <laughs>